INA Pack brought to you by DigiKey. Don't forget who it is. It's Brady. <laughs> One performance meet. <laughs> performance matters most, Brady. Um, that's this week's new product introduction. She liked your logo. It's kind of, it's kind of a cool it's logo, cool right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, what is this new interesting product this week? Okay, so this week's um, INPI is is a labeler. And you're probably like, yeah, okay, so I can get a labeler at like my local stationery store. Why are you talking about a labeler? And at first I was kind of like, you know, I was like, oh, it's a like yellow and rugged, you know, so what? But the more I actually started, no, I mean, I like, I wouldn't be self-deprecating. It's actually yeah. a really cool product. I'll admit. So sometimes, you know, I purchase one of the INPIs to review it. And I kind of tend to give them away to people. I'm like, oh, hey, look, it's like a toolbox bag. Maybe, yeah. you know, or you like this tool or this screwdriver kit. Uh, this one I'm keeping. And this is a really nice product. Um, and the price is, of course, really good as well. Um, so there's two versions. There's the M210 and the M210 Lab. I'm going to be talking about the M210, but the the Lab version um, is for people who are like working in a like a chemistry or biology lab, and it, it handles vials um, printing a little bit better. I think there's a couple other changes with the, what symbols are available, whatever. But I'm going to talk about the M210, which is good for general purpose. So I have a labeler already that I have used for just like labeling boxes and, you know, sometimes PCBs or samples or whatever. And it's, you know, it's it's a crafting style, like home labeler. And so it has like cute icons and like it can do like a couple different fonts. This is a labeler specifically for engineers and makers and scientists and, you know, chemists and um, electricians and people who are working with um, technology and you'll see like there's a lot of specific things that it does that you will not get in other labelers but you're basically paying for the same price so uh first off yes it is ruggedized um it comes with um uh, if you go back one it, it comes with a really nice uh rubber grip outside um everything is like nicely protected like it's not going to crack in half and break if you drop it not that you should drop it um and okay so i can go back back one um it can take either DC power or batteries, or there's actually a rechargeable battery pack you can use. Um, it's really fast to change out the cartridges. I'll do a demo. Uh, you know, languages, um, you know, nice keypad that's really easy and nice to use. Everything's nicely labeled. Um, nice and hefty, uh, but it's a lot of the other little details that, um, like the QR codes and modes that make this so cool. So uh, first up, you know, um, maybe you can go to me like really fast. I'll just hold it just really quickly. I'll just hold it up and show like, here's how, how big it is. So it's a little bit big and this will edit screen. And, you know, you type on the keypad. It does not connect to a computer. You have to use it like standalone. There's a version that's connected to a computer. Maybe I'll cover it in the future INPI. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so go back to the uh, edit screen. So you have an edit screen and, um, you know, that you can have multiple lines, which is another thing. A lot of labelers don't let you have multiple lines. You can also do single line if you want and just pick a font that's bigger and it will stretch to be the full size. But you have multiple lines of text. Um, you can select different sized fonts by pixels. You can do bold or not bold. Um, there's a lot of like extra capabilities. Um, there's lowercase, uppercase, you know, battery life. So that's kind of like only the t number of text lines is a little unusual. Um, it's just not supported. What is neat is it has languages. Like my hobby labeler doesn't have multiple languages or uh, fonts. So um, this one, they're all, you know, I will admit they're all like romantic fonts in, in that they use, like you're not going to get Farsi. You're not going to get um, Hebrew. You, you know, there's a Russian version. You can get Cyrillic. But at least you can get like, you know, Swedish and French and Spanish and German and, and Dutch and a lot of very popular European uh, languages. So um, there are multiple language support. You can select that. And in addition, there's also Greek fonts. So even though they don't have like the interface in Greek, you can type in Greek, which is useful because you're going to want pi and mu and omega and you know, sigma and, and theta and all these symbols and delta that when you're entering in, um, you know, mathematical or scientific symbols, you'll want to use the um, the Greek symbol, especially, you know, electronics use mu and uh, omega eta. Okay, and sigma, and, uh, sigma sometimes. All right, next step, lots of fun symbols. So, you know, my hobby, thermal uh, hobby labeler has like a cloud and like a happy face. Um, this one has symbols of like how you're gonna die. 
So <laughs> electrocution, radiation, and ground faults, but also a lot of electrical symbols as well. So, um, you know, grounds and batteries, antennas, speakers, diodes, et cetera. Um, home electrical, this is definitely, you know, if you're an electrician or you do um, facilities maintenance type stuff or telecom maintenance, they have all the icons you'll need to uh, quickly label stuff without having to type out washing machine. There's a symbol for washing machine um, or, you know, like cold water, this direction. They have the, you know, the arrow ready for you. Um, another nice thing that you're going to get, and I just thought was super cool, is QR and data matrix support. Um, I can show now or maybe at the end we'll show the overhead. Um, I printed out a couple QR codes and yeah, they print out uh, perfectly. Yeah, sure, sure okay. faster. Just uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. So um, yeah. So this is like a QR code I printed. So I'll uh, you know all you do is is enter you enter the QR code mode and then you just type in what you want the QR code to be and it prints it and you can interleave. Um, you know this is like data matrix plus text plus symbols um, and it's also just Adafruit. But this is a this is a true QR code and it's scanned on my phone so I know it works. And here's some other symbols. Uh, you know, printed out. So like, yeah, ex exploding. Cool. Um, yeah, it's a very nice, nice quality printer. All right. um, so okay. So, um, okay. So does codes. Uh, so, you know, data matrix, barcodes, code 39, code 128. It'll even print out the text underneath it. Uh, you can see how that there's like over, there's an outline on the text. That's how you know what's going to go inside. You know, you, you use the arrow keys to get inside that box and you type in what you want to appear within the data matrix or QR code. Serialization. Um, this is very neat. If you want to serialize, you know, you want to start with the number 1000 and you end at 1000. Oh, this is cool. 2000, it will automatically print out as you press print. Each one will increment and you can change the increment value as well. And it does alphanumerics. Oh, yeah. So it's like I have been there where I was like, oh man, I have this to. This is good if you have a maker company and you even want to have like some type of uh, number. Serial oh, numbers, so probably, or, yeah, you can do lots or of you, like if you're labeling, you know, like I was labeling, um, I did this Burning Man project and we had like what was it, 250 different LED boards, and I they had mm -hmm. to be uniquely numbered and it had to survive like wet, playa, mud, dirt, typhoon. And I would have absolutely used this to just like quickly label each one on the back. Instead, I had to like sit there with a sharpie and like try to, I, I sharpied and then I put tape over it to protect yeah. it. I could have just used this labeler, which didn't exist at the time. Okay, serialization, very cool. I've not never seen this on a labeler before. Um, time stamping and date coding. So there is a built-in RTC. You can set the date and time, which I didn't show. There's a different screen where you set the current date and time. Once you've set it, you can then insert timestamps so that when you print out the label, it will print out with the exact time it was printed. So like, you know, cool. at the time and different formats. And they have like every ISO format for for time and date. So really neat. And you can, of course, save you like there. I didn't show this, but there's a way to save the label. We can recall it later. So if you have to like timestamp multiple things, um, somebody said, does it support ISO dates? It supports every date format. Believe me. Interesting panel residential. If you do electrical work and you're constantly printing out labels for electrical panels, these are all built in you <laughs> can tell it. Like you can just check off which ones you want and it will pre- It's like them. made by someone who did stuff. This is absolutely made by someone who's like, I am never typing yeah. in bedroom four again. Yeah. And it can pre-print lengthwise. You don't you don't have to print yeah. like length, it can print like widthwise. And so you see that label, it prints out each one in order with the correct spacing specifically for breaker panels and there's a breaker mm -hmm. panel mode and it like it knows it's like oh you tell me how wide each breaker is and I'll, it'll just like do it all for you so the thing i thought was so neat like all that stuff was very cool but the wire management is like amazing so first off it can do flags automatically and it does the right like, you tell it the cable diameter and it will do the right distance between the text yeah so you can flag the text so this is a flag that's what it looks like but you're like, nah, I don't want the flag because like, you know, any whatever. It's like, I don't want it to like flip around. They also have wraparound self laminating style where you can, you print it and then you wrap it around the cable to like secure it. There's also a version that can like rotate, but um, I didn't want to show that because I, I didn't find it interesting. The most interesting, you can print on heat shrink with this device. So if you <laughs> go to the overhead, this, um, Hold on, I gotta eject this 
cartridge because I was actually using it. So this is heat shrink that comes on um, a reel and then you can print out and like, you know, I, I just, the focus button. oh yeah. So, you can, um, I don't know, it's like, of course it's going to like not show one second. No, I, you could tell when you bent it that that was heat shrink, but yeah, it's, it's, uh, I'm sorry. It's like, I'm not able to show it very well. Cause it's like, uh, yeah, it's, 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 it's heat yeah, shrink. It's heat shrink. So and when you shrink it onto the cable, you can have like these beautiful labels. Yeah. Uh, and it comes in a couple of different thicknesses. This is just the one that um, that's did you stop. So, you know, like permanent wire marking um, that's very beautiful and easy to read each time. So I was like, okay, you have, you know, your logic and logic. Like I'm absolutely doing this to my sale because like I can't tell like which yeah. is pin one. It's like you have to remember the number, the colors. It's like no, black is zero one. I'd rather just have it labeled this way. So this is just like they're 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 demo shot yeah. of it okay so you, very cool and you can buy these there's yeah. at least 50 in stock there's uh yeah there's a bunch of stock um the price is really good there's also a kit that comes with a lot more like comes with the battery pack and the dc supply this is just you know it doesn't even come with batteries you have to include the batteries it does come with one um thing of 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 tape i don't know how long it is it's three quarters inch thick uh wide and it's nylon cloth um, and this is fine to get started with, but you know, DigiKey stocks like 4,000 different um, tapes. Yeah. So I was expecting it to be like 500 bucks. It's not it's $129. Like this is a pretty good deal. It's a, yeah, no, and, it's a very nice what, So I'm going to say like, I didn't see this INMPI before the show yeah. because we were like racing to get the, uh, the show. Yeah. This is really neat. This is like one of the best. So I've, had, I've cool. had so many crappy label printers this is really cool no i'm keeping it's no. Like, i was like i was like, it, first I was like i'll it, give it to garrett and i'm like ah, you know what it is I'll, I'll tell you you know we make no money on if you buy this or not like, yeah we whatever. don't there's no commission um so the thing i like about this is like clearly someone had a terrible life and they were surrounded by la by label printers and they're like i am going to fix this one problem because there's like yeah. i've had label printers i'm like man i wish it did incremental things i wish it did this. i wish i could store these things i wish i could do this and now i'm like there's qr codes that i want to do like this is really this is really good yeah i will say that Anyways. yeah this is what the one thing is is that you know you do have to buy the consumables you have to you know buy the i assume so yeah the, the cartridges yeah so you work that into your cost i think for the labor it saves you it's well worth it um, yeah. And again, it comes in every yeah, do your math and everything, but yeah. like, yeah. So just from my point of view, especially because it has a full keyboard, the next time, instead of like reaching for, I have like, you know, the, the brother P touch or whatever that, that breaks and you just get another one. Yeah. I think I'm we just, even did a video about how it broke. And I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to switch to this Yeah. and then we'll report back later, but this looks good. Okay. Yeah. That's, Anyways, that's the NMPI. So that's pretty the cool. Brady. And oh,